Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about The Legend of Korra, episodes 4 and 5. Yeah, now, um, again, Korra starts off a little stupid here. She does. She starts off a little stupid. And then she immediately gets into, okay, I was really dumb last episode, but now I'm pissed off and I want to kick the crap out of everybody. Right, yeah. Which is the Korra we all want to see. Yeah. And thankfully, instead of immediately going off in the Queen's face when she showed up, She's like, oh, oh, we just want to stay here. And she's like, oh, okay, you can stay here. She's like, haha, you're stupid. I, I, I like you. Because <laughs> before, she'd be like, you were keeping air benders. And they'd be like, um, arrest yeah, her now. Yeah, like, what, what are you doing? Like, like kick her out of my, <laughs> right, out of my exactly. Um, so that, that, that was pretty cool. Um, that Kai guy, the airbender and thief dude. I like him. He's really talented. Yeah, he for is. For having zero training. <laughs> yeah, but you know he's a street kid who just yeah. learned he's got superpowers. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you know he'd been sitting around for like years pretending to do stuff. <laughs> like people, people would pick on him or something, and he'd be like, "If I had Airbender powers," right. and then suddenly he got them. So you know that's yeah. all that happened there. I mean, yeah. So it was pretty cool. Um, him and him and Janora are going to get in trouble at some point. This is they're going to have more Airbenders. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. It is. Oh, uh, but yeah. So. Um, in, in the first episode, um, basically, you just what you just found out they were being trained, and then they went and got them. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm really liking the, those four guys, by the, uh, the the two girls and the, and the two guys that broke out of jail. Yeah, they they're powerful as hell. Yeah, and ruthless. I was really that. disappointed in Zuko though. Like, I mean, I know he's old. He wasn't that strong to begin with though. Yeah, but he's had so much time and been through so much. But he hasn't. He was never that strong. Yeah, but he should be able to do something. I mean, he he helped put them in jail. You realize that he uh, fought his sister, said that she was off, and Katara actually won that fight, right? Well, Katara's a freaking genius. Yeah, but that's my point. <laughs> Zuko, Zuko was like, I can take her, and then got beat, and Katara won the fight. Yeah, but I was hoping that no, no, all no, these no, years, no, no. he would have no. been a little better. No, no. no. Little... I mean, he's one. Of, he's part of the royal family, so he's like, Every... one of, he's one of the stronger firebenders. But, but he's not. every every time I see him, I always hope he's gonna win. Well, of course, he's like he's Rock Zuko. Lee. I want him to win once. Uh, Sparky, Sparky, Boom, Boom, man's daughter, or granddaughter, uh, or whatever she. She is, yeah. seems to be a problem. She's <laughs> powerful as heck, dude. Yeah, she's like, Tsh. she's like, oh, okay, I'm done. Let me shoot things out of my head and throw flames out of my hands just because I yeah. can. And then she starts making out with the leader guy, and then the Earth guy was like, "Really, dude? <laughs> right, <now>. right here?" Because <laughs> like, clearly, I ain't getting none, so. This is rude right well, now. Well, there's another woman there. There's another she, woman there. She don't interested in him. She doesn't look interested in anybody. No, she's just like, I'm over she, here with my water arms. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I am so powerful, I create arms. I do not need you. Right. So, yeah. And then I, I loved how they, they, they went and, uh, and and got everybody out. And I thought it was really cool that Janora still uh, maintained the astral projection. Yeah, even though her pain. dad's jealous. Yeah. He, he's like, you can still do that? <laughs> he's like, what? I can't even do anything like that. Uh, but apparently it's a mix of spiritual power and a high level airbender technique. Mm -hmm. I don't know what part of that is airbending. Um, I don't know why that hasn't been used before. Um, I don't know. They're monks. So, you know, the whole Yeah, but see, I could do that too, though. Iroh's different. Yeah, he's Iroh. He's he, Iroh. Iroh like, does as he wills. But that's pretty much that episode. Yeah. Then, and then, well, and they, they broke him out. Yeah. Well, and, uh, oh, oh of, the fight the, though. Yeah, the, the, the Dai Li. The, okay, the, how are you going to train them to be an army and then not expect them to kick the crap out of you? Right? And it's like, guys, you understand that if you force people who don't want to fight to fight, they will be the least effective army ever. Yeah. That, that, that's why the, the United States government stopped doing the draft. They're like, hey, you know what? People who want to fight are better than people who don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you turn that around, and now they're fighting for their own freedom. They're going to take exactly what you taught them yep. and beat the crap out of you with it, they, like they did. They've been breaking rocks all day, every day. And that's when they didn't want to. <laughs> right. And now they want to. And the avatars on their side, they're like, we got this, guys, we got this. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I think uh, Kai, he's, he's going to be a very important leader for the airbenders. Yeah. Because uh, he Eventually. was, you know, protecting people and... And being all inspirational, but I like that after he beat that the, that one dialy guy. He's like, huh, I guess I am as good as I thought. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, you know, dude did toss like seventeen thousand rocks at him before he actually hit him with one. It's like, yeah, real battle com, a real battle situation, dude. You wouldn't have got me. And I liked how uh, what's his name Bolin finally did something cool with like the the giant rock jump. 
Because I, I haven't seen him do anything like real earthbending. He's always done throw a rock, throw a rock. Because I, I think him and him they and did the pro they did the pro bending. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah so, I know. I mean, you know, they're, they're still in pro bending mode. You know, like they, they, I don't think they've they've uh, it did happen in the hallway yet. though. Oh yeah, they were destroying the Dali. Yeah, because the Dali's always used to like, um, freaking, the like rock and surfing yeah. and being on the ceiling. They're like, nope, we got this. Uh, and then I believe it was in the next episode where Bolin uh, was talking to that girl, right? Yeah, and he almost ruined it. And I knew, I was like, dude, please don't. Oh God, don't be you. And then he was <laughs> him. I'm like, ah, oh. no, no, thankfully, he, no. He he, well, he was, was someone else. He was, he was more yeah. he was more him than he needed to be. Right. And yeah. then thankfully she like she be one of the older girls that makes sense in the whole series. Is like, wait, what are you doing? Stop it. And he was like, oh okay. And it continued like normal. Yeah. Most girls in animation. Would have been like, I hate you, slap, run away. And then gone to his brother. Yeah. Who looks better and... <laughs> <laughs> and has, well, doesn't have more money, though. No. no he's, they're he, both no. broke because Kai stole it all. That's true. That's <laughs> very true. Um, but so, Bolin finally is going to get a girlfriend. Yeah. And what I've been saying since season one, Bolin to win. I'm hyped now. <laughs> Chief Beifong was a brat. Hey, the enti- we, she, the- we, we don't know what Tom's half or Tom's other daughter did. Because it might have something to do with the fact that they have different dads and who the different dads are. They don't know them, though. <laughs> Aang. <Yeah. laughs> she, this, she, she, she likes Aang, and when, then she likes Sokka. Yeah, so, one's Aang and one's Sokka. That's, that's, yeah, that'd be bad. That would be awful. Katara should not ever find out, because Katara will bloodbend that entire city. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm interested to find out who the fathers are. Because, um, you know, in episode five, the, uh, the Metal Clan, mm. uh, basically it's Toph's daughter's city. But I mean, like her sister was going way out of her way, even though she was being a brat. She was going way out of her way to try to actually be good to her, though. Like you know, I want you to be. I see, want us. To be we cool. don't know if she was doing that just to to show off or just to be a jerk. Because we, we we don't know anything about her yet. That's not exactly true because her daughter has said all she's ever heard about her aunt was good things. You don't. Her, her daughter has said that repeatedly. My mom always tells me great. She things She might be about you. super evil. You never know. We yeah, don't know I, have a prob- I have a problem I with that idea. She might be. She may evil. be. She may be terrible. She may. Be. I have people in my family who tell people good things and then are still freaking evil. So I, <laughs> I've experienced this. Right? <laughs> so, but it was cool seeing you know seeing the, the Toph statue. So so far, only Aang and Toph have statues because and Toph is still around somewhere. Yes, that was an important thing. They never said she was dead. They said she wandered off to find enlightenment, which means like Boomy, she's probably going to be over 100 years old because mm-hmm. Earthbenders apparently just can do that. Apparently, a lot of people yeah. just do that. Well, like, I, they metal benders really just took what Toph did and, and just ran with it. I mean, yeah, they went crazy with. I it. mean, she she discovered all that stuff. Like like that that one old guy that works for uh, Toph's do- uh, daughter, the other one, uh-huh. um, who, who 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 gained her lie detecting ability. Mm-hmm. I would not have shared that with anybody but my family. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, that that would definitely have been kept to himself. Yeah, like I might have said it to the Avatar because, well, yeah, I would teach him because he needs to know. Uh, like, I would always keep teaching the avatars and teach my family, but not other people. And in fact, I don't think I would have taught metal bending to anybody else. Yeah, that, that would have that would have stayed my secret. It's kind of like how lightning bending was a secret for about what a thousand years or so, and uh, now yeah. it's used where everybody. And I was like, no, you if you discover that, you keep that in the family. Now, her daughter probably probably would have shared it. In fact, maybe, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> maybe her daughter shared uh, metal bending with too many people. Like, maybe Toph was teaching it just to the cops, and she went and said, hey, everybody! Well, the way <laughs> she put it, she kind of just decided to build a metal city. Like, she didn't say anyone helped her build a metal city. She said, I got an architect, and I built a metal city, and the architect's my husband. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's the, the glossed over version. I, I Something bad had to It's have probably happened. the husband. Lynn needs to redeem herself, because... When we first saw her, she was Spider Wolverine Lynn, and now she is bitter old woman with no one to love her Lynn. Yeah, who's crying at the end of the episode, which bothered me, actually. Yeah. Like, you, she's not supposed to cry. She she's to, supposed to get up and metal bend like the balloon and she apart has, or something. Well, it, see, we don't know what happened to her, though, because it might have been really freaking bad. It might have been. And But now she's old and can't have kids and has no one to love her, so now that branch of the family is dead. No, but she, but her but her niece came out and was like, "I would really like to get to know you." My mom has told me you're awesome, and she just goes, "Get out of my house!" and starts crying. She, she, she is a woman, though. Yeah, yeah. She's That's like, true. "I could tell you what's wrong, and we could talk it out, and then get past this, or I could tell you nothing." 
<laughs> yeah, because I don't know you. So whatever I've got, whatever problem I've got with your mom, right? I could I can get past this here. Yeah, because usually if families, if I have pro- if someone has a problem with like one of the people, the kids are usually separate from that. Yeah, usually, <laughs> usually not, not today though. Next week. Nickelodeon says, hey, this is an episode you won't find online. It's just saying, please don't leak it. Stop it. Please stop leaking the episodes. <laughs> um, it looks like Cora's going to learn metal bending. Yay for Cora. Yeah. She it's needs about to. dang time. Yeah, because, I mean, like, she's now got four benders who apparently, by themselves, could probably give her a run for her money, but all together are going to do something really terrible to right. her. Katara's daughter got wrecked. Yes, yeah, she did. Badly. Yeah. And he's a new bender. He's new! But he, look, he just... As soon as he started walking through the little swinging, the swinging door thing, I'd have been like, alright, you know what? We gotta bail. Mm. You leave him here. The fact that they let him go through all that and then they say, why do you know so much about airbenders and blah, 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 and then that's when they realized who he mm. was? This is a problem. All he did was shave his hair. That's all he did. He shaved and he got into the airbending temple. Yeah. This is gonna be a problem. And now knows where everybody else is. Because they told him. Yep. So I'm I'm disappointed in Kaya. She could have blood banned or something. Yeah, she he, she was too he was too busy kicking the crap out of her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's what happened this week in, in Avatar. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll cover next week's episode. By the way, it's now two episodes a week. So yay. Season four has already been written. And um, they're starting uh pr- pressure on that pretty soon, so Woohoo! There will be a book four. And um, Nickelodeon, y'all gotta work on your advertising. Yeah, for real. We found out this last minute. <laughs> at, at least this time, we know next week is two episodes. Yeah. So that's something. Because it was three, then zero, now two. That's not a schedule. <laughs> that's not. That's just like you throwing out episodes against the wall. But uh, don't forget, guys, to like, favorite, and subscribe to us for more videos. Uh, don't worry, the Titan video is coming. Just Walter just got back from work and is dying. You don't know that, but he is on the inside. It's, it's true. It's true. Yeah. So a Titan video will be coming up. Uh, we'll be doing uh, videos on other things, uh, possibly a, a live-action Young Justice TV show. Um, and Naruto, the movie uh, Road to Ninja that everyone liked, is coming to American theaters this summer. So, we're talking about all that and, eventually. And new characters who are coming to also um, Arrow and Flash. Right, yeah. Broken characters. Psst, yeah. Broken characters. But um, that's it. Subscribe. Do it. Hit this button. Hopefully there's a button right here. <laughs> uh, but that's it for now. Until next week, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.